So in this video, I'll show you the basics of making reports in Power BI. It's important to define relationships so you can properly make reports using all your data. In this example, I brought some reports from a restaurant that sells different styles of hot dogs from around the world. This table has the ID number, the name, and the ingredients that make up every style of hot dog. This table over here has the customer name and the ID of the hot dog they ordered. Let's say we want to make a report where the most popularly ordered hot dogs are shown. First, we'll drag the name out from the hot dog table. Then I'll change it to a horizontal bar graph so we can read the names of the menu items. We want to sort this by number of hot dogs ordered so we can use the ID from the orders table as a second axis. Click the drop down menu here and select count. We can immediately see that something is wrong with this chart because all the fields show 100 for count of ID. And this is because we haven't defined a relationship between the ID fields in this table and this table. To make this relationship, we have to click up here, Manage Relationships, click New, then select the two tables. You can see it automatically knows the two columns have names called ID, and they both have numbers, so it specs with a reasonable amount of certainty that these two columns are related. Before we click OK, we can look down here under Advanced Options to see the cardinality and the cross-filter directionality. Right now it's selected as one to many, which makes sense in this case because multiple customers can order the same hot dog IDs, but each hot dog has a unique ID. Power BI will pretty much always get this right. Hit OK, close, and we can see that our data looks a little better. I added a card visualization for the hot dog at the bottom, and another one with the customer name on the side, here. So now when we select a hot dog from the bar chart, we can see the ingredients at the bottom here, and the customers that ordered it. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.